Hey there guys, Watch Violence. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going over performance settings in GZ Doom and how they might affect your mods and stuff. We're just going to try and get the most optimal settings we can get. And uh, yeah, it should be a good time. I'm recording this intro right after doing the previous video. I'm not really sure if these videos are going to be one or two different videos. So, so what we're going to do is now we're going to end the video with performance options. I'm just going to go through my video settings. Uh, in fact, we're going to turn off menu blur so you can see the background while I change stuff. I've gone and recently turned down my number of particles to be pretty low and number of decals as well. So decals are these things that stick on walls. All right, I'm going to shoot a bunch on here. Now when I shoot on this wall over here, they're going to start disappearing. There we go. That's a good showing. Do you really need decals? Like how many do you really need to have a good experience in Doom? That's the question you got to ask yourself sometimes. So I've gone and set it to 100. I could probably go lower. I could probably turn it off if I really wanted to. If I really wanted to maximize performance that much, I would turn that shit off. It's not necessary. Now particles. Particles are interesting. I don't know what uses particles anymore. I know one weapon that does. When you've got the viral mode on. Those little squares, they are definitely particles. I know because it uses sp the spawn particle function. But they are, they are considered particles. If there's a monster in the map somewhere also spawning particles or something, then there will be less particles spawning here because of this that because of that setting. So I got it on 2,000. If I go and turn this really low, put it on 100. There are way less particles now. It's a bit hard to see. As you can see, but if I then go and turn that shit way up, we've got a whole trail of particles now. So again, I ask you, how many particles do you realistically need? I have it set up to 2000, which is probably more than I need, but that's because I made this weapon and when I use it in videos, I want you guys to see the particles. I want you to see how it's supposed to look. That is the only reason I have it set higher. You could set that down, you could set it to 100, you could do whatever. I think that would help with performance ultimately in the end. All right, uh, other than that, you could probably copy my other settings here. I did look at like a, a forum post about the best settings for GZ Doom and I copied as much of it as I could. So if you want to pause the video and just take a look, go for it. And, and yeah, so other than that, we can talk about things in these other options that actually do make a difference. Let's spawn a bunch of cybers. So these legendary spawners that like wait to see what you've got, they have lights, dynamic lights. If you go into your dynamic light options and turn off dynamic lights hardware, they disappear. Dynamic lights, in my opinion, are one of the worst things for performance in GZ Doom. I noticed that straight away when I first came to start working on the GZ Doom version of God Complex, some of the fire that was being spawned from like the Hellstorm rockets and stuff, they each fire sprite or like actor had its own light. A monster would shoot a bomb like Exos would shoot a bomb that would spawn like 20 fire things and they all had their own lights and it would just tank performance so hard. Xandronum didn't have this issue anywhere near as much, but GC Doom has this issue for sure. If you're struggling with performance, turn this off. You don't really need the lights that badly. They're just an extra thing that makes the game look nice, but you don't need them. Lights affect sprites. Uh, how can I show this? All right, so we've got some spawners out there. Uh, there's no target on. Sure is. All right, so there's a light here and it's affecting the sprites around it a little bit. Let's see what happens if we turn that setting off. Dynamic lights, light effect sprites. It's already on no, but that's just because of how I had it. But as you can see, turning it on, it makes lights affect sprites. I ask you, do you need this setting? Does that matter to you? If I'm playing a world with a lot of monsters, I'm turning this off 100%. It is not necessary. As for the other things here, light effects particles, like, come on, man, do we really need that? No, we don't need that. Other than that, you can copy the other things that are here. I don't really know much about them. I don't play on software mode, so I don't know. You don't really need that. Um, shadow map filter. This is a thing I got from a forum post for optimal settings. Copy that if you like. Uh, we'll go to texture options. Okay, texture options are kind of a big deal. We'll go somewhere else for this. Okay, so this is a good spot to test the, uh, the texture stuff. I'm going to put on my light. That could just help see the textures and see how they change. Okay, I'm going to aim that way just so you can see the side a little bit. Let's go to text options. Anistropic, whoops, what did I do? Oh God, off. Anisotropic filter. What this does, look at the lines on the left side of the screen where the black texture is. And you can see that it makes them higher quality further away. We have this off. Uh, they, they just look a bit shit. 
So I like to have this on four. I think that's plenty. But like, this is something you can definitely. This is a, a, a definitely a subjective thing. It's up to you. It depends on what size of wad you're playing on. You want to uh, probably put this low, if you can. All of the high quality resize stuff. I don't even really know what this does. I don't really want to check what it does. But when I click the button to like change these settings, I can feel the game lagging. What is even happening? Look, this mode requires 16 times more video memory. Brother, who needs that? The game doesn't look any different anyway. I'm probably just doing something wrong, but I'm just telling you like, the question always comes back to, do you need this? Answer is probably no for this one. Um, as for all the other stuff, just off, off, off. You don't need it. It's not going to help. The top setting here, texture filter mode, actually does make a big difference. Um, I like to have it on none nearest mip map. It just makes the game look normal. But if you have it off, you can see the game in the distance. The textures just look very rough and, and gross. I remember having this problem because on YouTube, the videos would look really weird when this setting was, when it was set to none. Uh, and when you have it on trilinear, even the weapon, it just looks so weird, like it... It, it just looks blurry, it looks ugly. Um, nearest mipmap none is the best setting that I've found, and I think it makes the game look really good. And because it says none, I just assume that means that uh, it's a good performance option. So yeah, we just we just stick with that. That's my that's my pick for uh, those ones. Software renderer, not necessary unless you're playing software and I don't know anything about it, so I'm skipping it. Hardware, woohoo! Again, for this lot of stuff, I think you can just kind of copy my shit here if you want. Um, if it makes it easy to see. I would recommend choosing dark mode for the sector light mode. I believe that most mappers, when they're making their maps, they making their map with dark mode on. So that way, you know, if you have, you're playing with dark as well, you get the intended experience from the maps that they're making. If I'm wrong about that, please correct me and I'll add that to the pinned comment. But it does make a little bit of, I mean, you can see the difference it makes in the background. Not really that much of a difference, just play with dark, I recommend it. Fog mode standard, if you turn this off, it definitely helps with performance. Uh, let's go and go somewhere where you can see fog a little bit better. If you turn this off, you notice in the background on the left there, it gets a bit darker when it's on. Radial is a bit darker and then off is just completely off. This just makes like distant areas look darker, I, I believe. If you turn this off, the Halloween and spooky mode in God Complex won't work. There'll be, it'll just be bright. So I definitely recommend keeping this on standard if you can. If you really need performance and you're not playing Halloween, turn it off, up to you. That's, that's up to you. Otherwise you can copy this stuff. Adjust sprite clipping always. Smooth sprite edges off. Fuck that shit. Do not need that. Yeah, otherwise uh, rendering quality, speed, recommend. Menu blur, do what you want. Multi sample, off, off, off. What does this do? It's making things in the distance look a little bit crisper, but also a little bit shittier at the same time. Okay, I see what it's doing. Maybe if I get a bit closer, I can see this a bit better. We'll put on fly. Okay, this is a good spot. Look at the lighting in the room ahead of us. And you can see that the, the lit up squares right here. You keep looking at that stuff. When I change the setting. It smooths out the uh, the lines very well. That's actually a really, that's actually a, a very noticeable setting. But again, this is one of those things that like, when there's like 100 monsters, 200 monsters, are you really noticing these lines? You're not. So that's up to you. You don't, you don't really need it on, I got it off. And my game looks absolutely fine. Uh, Post-processing, this is actually a big performance sync, I think. Uh, Bloom and stuff like that. Where's a good place? Is this a good place to show it, what Bloom does? I mean, you probably already know, but I'm going to try and demonstrate it anyway. Yeah, it just makes bright things brighter. It works on the skybox as well. Um, this is just a, if I was playing on a small map for, for a YouTube series, a small wad, I'd probably turn this on because it looks nice. I don't need it right now. Lens distortion just makes the screen warp, not, ne not needed. Ambient occlusion adds a shadow to the, uh, like where the wall meets the floor. Um, this is a performance sync. A lot of modern games use it. I don't need it. I'm turning it off. I used to play with it on, but like, I, do I really need it? Not really. Um, everything else off. Tone map is kind of fun to mess with sometimes. It just gives like a, a crusty look, especially like this setting. It makes monsters look cool. It, it, I, I do like how this looks. It's cool, but in the long, long term, playing a whole map like this, I'd feel probably not. Turn that off. And yeah, that's that. That's the settings, man. Um, I don't know nothing about 3D, whatever the fuck that is. The VR. Yeah, that's it.
that's the video. I got nothing else to say. This ended up being a bit longer than I thought probably. Maybe I can try and split it into two. I'll do like a part two video with the performance settings in its own video. If that's the case, then I might record another intro after this. But yo, yo, that's it. That's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something and uh, enjoy the update that is out now. All right. See you next time. Goodbye.